welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to be continuing with Cosatral Kel or however it's pronounced this is where we've got so far it's his, uh, he's been base coated, he's been washed and hmm, not sure what that's supposed to be, whether it's supposed to be on the model or not weird Oh, I just noticed that. Hmm, strange. Oh well. Um, <clears throat> right, so, Cosatral Kel, he's a kind of demon -y type of character. His flesh acts and looks like iron. But we are having to make him more of a acceptable humanoid appearance we're going to do a little bit <coughs> and I mean a little bit of flesh colour <coughs> just so that it looks pleasing to the eye but we are going to give him that um, what should we call it that um, iron look so uh, I'm not going too far away from the description of the stories of story that he was in. Okay, so we're using rat skin flesh first of all, which is this colour. And <clears throat> again, we're using watered down paint and we just put it over the areas of brightness or where we're thinking that the light is going to hit. Um, that's everywhere that's upwards, shall we say. And as you can see, this, there's not much of a difference yet, but when you actually get around to adding another highlight in a moment, when this one is done, you will see that there is going to be a bit of a difference between the base coat and this highlight. Um, and we're also going to give it a metallic look as well a bit of a metallic sheen to the uh, to the miniature not going overboard with that though I don't want him looking like um, <clears throat> a robot um, I just want him to look as though he's not human But um, give him, as I say, a, a more pleasing look that you wouldn't get if I just painted him metallic all over. <coughs> um, as far as I remember, he was supposed to be, um, oh, what do you call it? Only slightly um, different um, in look with the skin tone. I may be wrong on that. Oh dear, my nose is itchy again. I always get around to getting an itchy nose when I start painting. I don't know why. It's annoying me. Oh well. Um, so yeah, in case you can't remember, in the last video for this fella, we um, painted, give him his base coat, which was all the rat skin flesh, and then we used corn red on his, I cannot remember what it's called again, I did actually look up what it's called, and it is a, an ornamental skirt, um, it doesn't actually serve a purpose as armour. It's just an ornamental skirt that goes over, um, like, um, shall, we say, shall, we say, shall we say, shorts or some form of undergarment. Um, it's worn by the ancient Greeks and the um, Spartans, etc. 
Um, it begins with P, it's one of those words that begins with a silent P. P, T, something or other. I will have to have a look at this properly. Ah well. Um, somebody did leave a message to say that a kilt would be a better term for it, but it's, it's not actually a kilt. A kilt is a specific thing. Um, so, it is, it is actually a form of a skirt, but, ah oh well. We'll get it. We'll get there eventually. We'll, I'll find out what it is properly, and when I do, I'll probably add a, a note to this video for say what it is. In which case, you've probably seen it already, and I've just told you what I'm going to do way after I've done it. But ah yeah, well, not to worry. <laughs> so as I, all we're doing here is just picking out the high raised areas where the light would hit you don't want to make it too bright because this guy's skin tone as I say with it being like iron wouldn't be too um, pale <coughs> I'm actually going to use this as though it's some form of injury, it's as though something's actually stuck in his leg, as though it should be the. I really couldn't care less whether it is or not, but I have decided it is supposed to be the. It doesn't look as though it's. Um, what you call it, flashing or anything, um, so I'm going to have it as though it is actually part of the mini. I'm not going too overboard with the highlighting in the places that aren't going to be in, um, in the light. But the main reason being is that I want those parts to be quite dark um, so we're just going to run through a few areas that would get hit by light and in those areas we're going to try and make it a little brighter but again not much and um, then we can come along and make it make the iron look that he is known as having. Um, we'll make that stand out a little bit more. Um, that's that's however is going to only happen. Um, now we're doing the final bit of highlighting. It's not going to work yet. Uh, clean off the brush a little bit and go back into this colour. And we'll do now is note. And because he's looking downwards, I've managed to get paint on an area where I didn't want to get. Oh well, not to worry. There we are. I'm not forgetting the...
Okay, next. <clears throat> We're going to take our Wazdaka Red, which is this colour. You've seen this one before, I've used it quite often. And that's going to be put onto our palette. We don't need much. And just rinse off our brush. Like the one we're going to be using. And once again, bring the brush to a nice point and then it's over all the red areas to highlight those um, <coughs> anywhere that has this skirt type item All the strands on this skirt, I'm just using the word strands uh, for want of a better word to be honest. Um, as you can see, it's not made up, it's not a solid piece of material, it's, it's actually made up of strips of leather that's weighted down with some form of gold or some form of. So far, the metal. Um, and as such, um, I've lost my train of thought now. Um, as such, we'll go over each particular um, strip, strand, whatever you want to call it. And highlight each and every one of them. There we are. That's all we're doing for it. It's not a big job, this one, because not all of the strands need to be um, <coughs> um, what's the word I'm looking for? Need to be um, highlighted. Um, next. What do we need? I know what we need. We need some form of grey colour um, to go onto the hair. And this is going to be a dry brush. It's not going to be applied to the palette. Um, but I do need to wash my dry brush because I still have, for some strange reason, paint on it. It's not, um, not cleaned as well as I thought I had always a naughty naughty <laughs> okay so ashen grey we have a load of that on our brush wipe the majority of it off and then we'll just gently hit the her with this we will come back and add another colour to it a little later just to lighten it up <coughs> there we are okay so that's the hair and that's the skin highlighted and the skirt um, I'm not touching as you can see the metal areas they're going to be done slightly differently but what, we, what I am going to be doing is adding some <coughs> another colour <coughs> rather into our um, whatchamacallit uh, into our flesh tone when I can find it now then, what have I done with that one is that it there that's it there I may need to give this a stir because it's one of the metal colours. It's Iron Breaker. And as I said, what we're trying to do with this 
is show the iron um, aspect of the skin tone. So I'll take some of the iron breaker and add into that the flesh tone. There we are. And I'll rinse our brush out. <coughs> and then we'll get our brush back out again. And we'll gently go over some of these highlighted areas. Not going all over, just a few of those highlighted areas, just to give like a metallic sheen. So, um, we're not going to say I'm not going overboard with this because I don't want it to look um, too metallic. I just want to is there some of the highlight areas to help that metallic look um, it's very subtle and that's what I'm trying to achieve Once we've done this step and we've highlighted the hair, there are a couple of um, metallic bits that I want to do and then um, we can start actually doing the Um, what do I call it? The metal areas. And what I'm doing, what I've decided to try and use is the edge of the brush to run down and pick out any raised areas, which might be a, an easier way of adding the metallic sheen to the mini And now for the face, I'm mixing that flesh tone in with this colour, you can see that it's not wholly um, metallic, there is another colour there. I'm going to wash this again with um, probably a Grex Earthshade this time just to dull down the shine slightly. There we are. <coughs> now, 
what we're going to do, as I said, we're going to get a lighter grey, and this will be um, Dawnstone, and it's just a bit of a dry brush over the highlights on the hair. <coughs> get some on the brush, then just brush it off slightly. And then we can just go around the, uh, pick out some of the main strands of her. There we are. And next using a fine brush <coughs> um, we're going to use I don't want that one is that the one I want? Retrib no I don't want Retributorama um, where are you, where are you, where are you? Hashtag Copper, no where are we at? got you Auric Armor Gold let's use that colour we're going to do the circlet that's around his head <coughs> and we want a fine, more detailed brush for this one. Um, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean because I've got some of the Master's soap on it. There we are. And again, this is another one that I'm going to have to give a good mix. On. There we go. Hoping that's fine. Let's just uh, test it. It seems okay. And all we have to do is just go around it. <coughs> um. My hand may not be the steadiest for this type of work at the moment. There we are. And then I'll just give it a bit of a. In fact, I'll not use that one for that. <coughs> I'll use the one that we've been using to add the paint to the palette. And let's just get it on the brush. Wipe it off slightly and then just touch and we'll do the back parts here as well like so. Now it's the time that I've been waiting for. I can open up one of my um, new paints, and the one I'm going to be using is one of the gem paints, which is Spirit Stone Red. I'm going to try it out before I actually spray varnish this just to see how it works it may be better me uh, spraying it first of all, I don't know but here I'm going to use this colour for the headdress I'm also going to use it on the scabbard like 
like so. Gives a nice effect. And now I'm going to change colour and go with Soulstone Blue. And this is the one that's going to be used oops, around here. I don't know if this is the right colour to use, but it's one that I fancy using now, so that's what I'm going to do. Mind you saying that, I don't know why I said it. I don't know if it's the right colour. As far as I'm concerned, there's no such thing as right and wrong colour. There's just colour. If you want to use this, then go ahead and use it. And that is almost it. Trying to get all that belt done, including the little metal bits that attach the strips of leather. Um, I'm also going to use this on the sword hilt, or the dagger hilt. Finally, for the new paints that is, the third and final one, Waystone Green. And this, as you might have sussed already, is going to be the face that's on his belt. And that is that for that one. We still have the sandals to do. And that colour, or that is going to be done using, um, not that one, not that one, not that one. I'll come hither you. Steel Legion Drab. And fine brush. No faffing with it. In fact, it needs a little something else in this corner because it's too much like the skin colour. Um, in fact, I'm not going to use that one at all. Too, as I say, it's too much like the skin colour. What I will use instead is um, Rakath Flesh, I think. There we go. That's the one I'll use. reason I can't open this one, it won't be a second. <coughs> oh, that's better. I'm going to put some of this on the pallet. Um, way too much put on, but never mind. I definitely don't need that much, but... Ah, yeah, well. Um... So, as I say, we'll just, oops. Mm. 
bring the brush to the point and then we can just paint around the bottom like so without any fuss because that's where the um, that's where the sole of the sandal is and we are going to be going over this with Agrax Earth Church, so it will look a little deeper by the time we've finished. You have this scorpion um, design. There to do, oh, mustn't forget that. Um, Remember also to go all the way around, not leave any area out, and then the, the next and we will almost finish this miniature now and um, once we've got this done oops, it's, uh, it's just a matter then of doing the wash on the skin tone again and then basing um, but I think before I do the wash I will just go over the base in fact there is another thing I want to do first of all which is using um, some neat in fact, I'll use this. This is Stormhost Silver. I'm going to just take a little spot of that on there and just go over that. I just want to make it look as though it has been something that has pierced his skin. There we go. Because it does look as though it is something that has pierced his skin. But that is it for this fella I hope you've enjoyed these videos so far I'm just tickling a little bit on certain areas of the, of this red just to make some of the designs in this in the scabbard show up there we are and as I said, next what we're going to be doing is the wash of Agrax Earthshade. But before that, let's do the... Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Let's do the... Um, oh dear God, where's my paints? Don't try and bark. Where are you, flippy neck? I found you. Rhinox hide, which we've done on the bases for so far. Um, we'll just take some of that. And let's we'll quickly go over the base. Just like so. And once this has been done, um, So it's another wash on over the skin. And then 
we'll see how it looks after that um, as to whether or not that metallic look is okay. Um, what I need to do now though is make sure that the brown around the edge is okay. Yeah. Well, this is the part where I definitely want this brown to be a solid colour. Not bothered about the top because something's got to be over that so it doesn't make any difference. Um, but as I said, now we'll go over the flesh tones in the Agrax Earthshade. Um, but that as I said, is like on the other ones, it will be done when I can find the paint. I know I've got some somewhere. There we are. E. And that's what we're using. A Grex Earth Shed. As I say, it's all over the skin. If we need to, we can just come along afterwards and I just touch more of the metallic colour. But I just want to make, I just want to see how it looks. Once it's dried, I can't really judge until then. But I'm hoping um, it has achieved the job that I wanted to achieve. Or achieved the finish rather that I wanted to achieve. Um, I suppose I could have done um, right on flesh shade, but I didn't want him to look sort of like flesh and blood. Um, too warm a colour for what I wanted to achieve with this mini. And that would not have worked. Hopefully, however, this will. So, when we come back, we'll either be highlighting this one again, or we'll be doing another mini. But, we'll find out in due course which it is. Until then, however, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.